Hey there. So if you want to connect your micro MIDI to a uh, synthesizer, drum machine, sequencer, you know, anything using a five pin MIDI connection, it's really quite straightforward. You know, you just connect the five pin MIDI input in there. It's hard to do with one hand. Get in there. All right. The micro MIDI functions pretty much the same way with a 5-pin MIDI cable as it does over USB. Uh, the main difference is that coming from Ableton, we know we can take advantage of all of the outputs on the micro MIDI, but using you know various hardware devices, synths, drum machines, uh, they might not have access to all of those features. So if you hit play on your host device and you see the, the clock and run lights lighting up, you know you're receiving sync. And if you see the gate and trig lights lighting up while you hit keys, you know you're receiving MIDI notes. So you're pretty much good to go at that point. Uh, if you don't, um, hit the learn button, hit a few keys, and that will set the micro MIDI to the correct MIDI channel. So the CC output responds to either aftertouch or breath control, and you can set that in the online configuration utility. If you find that the micro MIDI is spitting out clock even while your host is stopped, you'll want to set the clock mode to only while running. Okay, so let's uh, get started by putting together a basic patch. So first I'm going to set up my system so I can trigger notes with my external device, and in this case I'm using an Electron Octatrack. So I'm going to use the Micro MIDI to trigger Dixie 1, use ADSR 1, and VCA A running through the Polaris filter. So now I'm hooking up the Metropolis. Okay, so now we have the Metropolis triggering the second ADSR as well as the Dixie 2 up here. And there it's going through the VCA through the filter. So now I've got uh, two overlapping sequences. I have, so that's uh, sequenced by my Octatrack, and that's being sequenced by the Metropolis. Oh yeah. You can also do fun things like use the clock output at different divisions to re-trigger the, the gates. So by bringing the clock division output into the re-trigger input on ADSR2, I can get some pretty cool uh, different rhythmic kind of percussive triplet even rhythms out of ADSR2. So here I have the Metropolis sequencing the shapeshifter synced to my Octatrack. Uh, there's a second Metropolis off-screen that is transposing the first Metropolis just with a two-stage melody. This could be easily accomplished with an output from the Micro Mini as well. Uh, it's just going into the auxiliary input and uh, yeah, so, so we could use you know pitch to do that or mod or CC. But uh, speaking of mod and CC, I have the modulation, so the mod wheel connection going to FM1 on the Polaris, and I have the CC output going to the Shape 1 input on the Shapeshifter. And so the Octatrack has a very capable MIDI sequencer. It actually has an eight channel sequencer, and you're able to uh, assign different parameters to the sequencer. On the first page it already has a mod wheel control and a breath control control. And you activate those by holding the function button and pushing in the encoder button and then you can 
use the encoder knobs to control the parameter, or you can parameter lock different values to the sequence, which is very powerful with a modular system. Here I'm using an Arturia Mini Brute to control an Atlantis, and the Mini Brute does not have a clock output, so I had to try to manually sync the decay time on the Atlantis with the arpeggio rhythm on the Mini Brute. Another advantage with the Electron Octatrack is that the, the MIDI sequencers have arpeggios. Uh, so with the Octatrack uh, sequencer, you can even change the arpeggio rate and direction per step, which is really cool. You can even assign LFOs to those various MIDI controls. Yeah. This is still pretty much the same shapeshifter patch from earlier. So here I wanted to demonstrate how you can use the micro MIDI to layer a few things together. So in this case I've got a drum groove coming from the Octatrack, I have a simple melody coming from the Octatrack which is triggering a Dixie. So ADSR1 is controlling this Dixie over here which is going through the Polaris here. Oscillators from the, the first Dixie going through the Quadrat up here so I can blend the levels as I want. And that same melody is also going to the uh, shapeshifter, which is in chord mode, and it's uh, in percussion mode as well. And so that is being triggered by the clock division output of the micro MIDI. And because I'm using the Octatrack to sequence it, I can turn on the arpeggiator. And so I'm uh, also sending 
modulation mod wheel output from the Octatrack uh, to the Fold CV on the Shapeshifter. So let's bring the Metropolis in now. So the Octatrack works great with the Micro MIDI, but you can use all kinds of other devices with it. So I'd love to hear what your favorite devices are to use with your Eurorack system. I hope you found this video useful and inspiring, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.